kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part four of my video series on live wallpaper app using Android Studio. Okay, so uh, before we begin our video, let me recap what we have done so far. Okay, so we have integrated the Firebase with our Android project in our uh, first part of the video and then in our uh, in our second part we had done the firebase dependencies and in uh, then after that we had done the okay so we had done the json file we had imported the file in our firebase and after that we created the model class and also the view holder class which will hold the data okay and now in this video we are going to start working on our activity okay so in a previous video i had shown you and we had done the uh, in sliced uh, uh, relative layout okay sorry it will be the recycler view all right so we had the recycler view in our main activity and let's now uh, start working on our main activity dot java file okay so here first of all we will have the recycler view then we first of all let's initialize the recycler view here so we can say r dot id dot recycler view and then we need to uh, access this category background so for that we have to use database reference category background reference and we need to initialize our reference okay so we will do that later and before that we can uh, initialize our firebase recycler options and inside our firebase recycler option we can we need to specify the model mm -hmm. class so we can say category item and we can name it as option okay so the another thing which we want is the firebase recycler adapter so we can initialize the firebase recycler adapter here so first the here the first argument will be the category item the second one will be the category view holder all right and we name it as adapter so now after we initialize the recycler view let's say recycler view dot set has fixed size and make it true and after that now first let's initialize this category background reference equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference and here we can specify dot child and inside that we can paste the category background all right now let's try to uh, initialize the options i mean the firebase recycler options all right so we can say options equals to new firebase recycler options and inside we can uh, specify our model and we can also here set use the options dot builder and we can say category item dot set query and here we can specify this uh, category background reference so we can say category background reference and the second one will be category item dot class and we can simply build it 
all right and after that we need to initialize now our adapter so we can say adapter equals to new firebase recycler adapter and here you can see now here is the error so we need to specify the options here and after that what we are now okay so now inside our own create view holder method we need to now inflate our layout so for that we can say view v equals to layout inflated dot prom and in here we can say parent dot get context and we can say dot inflate and we will try to inflate so we can say r dot layout dot category uh, layout category item then we have parent and the last one is false okay and instead of uh, returning null we can say return new category view holder and in here we need to pass the view object all right and now let's go back to our own bind view holder method and inside our own bind view hold okay so before that we need to add the dependency for uh, picasso picasso is a library which is used to fetch images from the link to the Im image view so we can say picasso library okay instead of that we can easily uh, copy the Picasso library from here so we can just copy that and paste it here and let's now click on sync now alright guys so now it is easily uh, integrated into our project so now we inside our own bind view holder method we need to uh, use the picasso instruction so we can say picasso dot get dot load and in our load method we can say model dot get image link and then we need to specify the network policy so we can say network policy dot offline okay so first you try to fetch the cache if it is not available then we try to find the latest uh, image okay so for that we can also now say dot into and now here we need to specify our holder dot image view okay and here we can call uh, use the callback and inside our own error method so okay so before that let's try to have the create the vector asset and here let's try to have terrain and inside our own error method let's try to do that again dot load model dot get image link dot error r dot drivable dot ic terrain dot into and inside that we can say holder dot image view all right so now it is saying that the variable model is accessed from within in the class so we need to declare it final so here we can say final all right so now the error is removed and now what we are going to do after this adapter all right now we can say grid layout manager grid layout manager equals to new grid layout manager and in here we can say get application context and 2 
okay so now we can say recycler view dot set layout manager and we will pass the grid layout manager object here and after that we can say adapter dot start listening and then we can say recycler view dot set adapter and we pass the adapter here all right that was it and let's also try to override the on start method here and when inside our on start method we can check if adapter is not equal to null then we can say adapter dot start listening let's just copy that and paste it inside our own resume method and inside our own stop method we need to check it then we can say stop listening all right and now another thing which you need to do is uh, you need to add the user permission of internet all right I guess that is it our uh, tutorial is completed so let's try to run the application and let's see if it works or not let me connect my phone so now I have uh, connected my phone and let's try to run the app and let's see if it works or not let's hope that it works now the application is working and okay so here uh, the text is not updated yes because inside our own uh, bind view method so after we initialize this so we can we need to have uh, set the holder dot text view dot set text and we can say model dot get name all right let's now try to run the app again and this time the application will work and we will be able to list all the categories from the firebase Now guys you, uh, you now you are able to see the name and the images behind that okay so uh, uh, let's try to sh I let me show you as uh, another thing okay so here you can see there is C so let's try to change it to let's say Haroon okay so now inside in our app let's see if it is uh, changed or not so now you can see that it is changed all right let's try to set it to back it to c and here you can see okay so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye